Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another stale movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about Urban Legend. Uh, <laughs> this past 4th of July I was watching a video uh, over on Drum Dum's channel and he was talking about um, I know what you did last summer and so he started talking about 90 slashers and of course like he was talking about Scream and people were mentioning Urban Legend in the comment section of that video and it just made me really want to watch Urban Legend. <laughs> I haven't watched it in a while and I forgot how much I liked this movie. <laughs> so it's directed by Jamie Blanks and it's about a college student who suspects a series of deaths happening on her campus are related to common urban legends. Um, so what I liked about it, um, it's a slasher movie. <laughs> I'm all about the slasher movies. Although I feel like 90 slashers kind of get a worse, like if it's not Scream, I feel like people tend to hate <laughs> the 90 slashers um, as opposed to the 80 slashers. Like I said, with Scream being the exception. Um, but I thought it was really fun. I really like Urban Legends. They really freak me out. It's like the twists always give me chills. Like, you know, like the babysitter one and the aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light. And the twists always get me because I always just put myself in that situation. Like, can you imagine? And I think it makes for some creative death because obviously there are like every urban legend has its own twist but i feel like the movie puts its own twist even further on like on the deaths like because somebody is like fabricating them it, they're like creating the situation it's not it's not like i don't know how to say it it's not like they're i don't know i can't describe it but it's like <laughs> because somebody is fabricating it it puts kind of another kind of creative spin on the killings that I really enjoy. And I totally forgot how much I love Rebecca Gayhart's character in this movie, especially when it gets to the end and it gets to the twist and she's going all crazy and I feel like her hair <laughs> is like a signifier <laughs> for her craziness because like by the end her hair is like out here and that's when she's at her most crazy and she just delivers a really great performance, especially at the end. And every time I watch it, I feel like I always forget that she's in this movie until it starts. I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, Rebecca Gayhart's in this. Um, anyways, what I didn't like about it, um, there are definitely like elements that are reminiscent of Scream in Urban Legends. came out two years after the first Scream came out. Um, so to a lot of people, it seems like a ripoff. I'm able to look past this a little more because I really do enjoy slasher movies and Scream is my favorite movie. I don't think it's that much of a ripoff, um, but I could be biased because I just really enjoy slashers. But a lot of people don't like Urban Legend because of the Scream elements in it. They, A lot of people consider it a ripoff. So I think you should watch Urban Legend if you haven't already, which why haven't you? Um, just because it's it's just a lot of fun. It's a fun movie to watch. Um, and if you have watched it before, maybe haven't seen it in a while, a lot of, no, <laughs> a lot of nostalgia in there. It's just a fun watch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this a rating of four Robert England cameos out of five. Um, on IMDb right now, it has a 5.5 out of 10, which is really not bad. Um, Roger Ebert gives it a two out of four, so which I was really surprised <laughs> at that. Um, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes, on the other hand, gives it a 20% critic score and a 37% audience score. They really don't like it over at Rotten Tomatoes. Um, like every review is like, scream rip off, scream rip off, scream rip off. Um, <laughs> so if you've seen Urban Legend, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. As always, feel free to suggest other movies you'd like me to review. Let me know what your favorite 90s horror movie is in the comment section. Also, <laughs> um, if you're new here, subscribe to become a creepy peep today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye.